Happy Halloween my guests and ghouls. I've got a special first impressions video for you guys today, here is my first impressions review of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. When they announced that they were making a FNAF movie I was really freaking psyched. But then it got delayed, then cancelled, then Scott left and they reused the script and made it into the Banana Splits movie. Scott then found a new guy but then it got delayed, and then cancelled again, and then Scott left the project again and the script was reworked into Willy's Wonderland. The point is, the movie was in production hell, but then Bloomhouse picked it up and we actually started getting progress. Casting, effects, and all that good stuff. It was looking better and better by the day and I finally watched it opening night, so, here are my first impressions of the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Let's run through the plot real quick. So, Mike Schmidt is looking for a job while dealing with the trauma of losing his little brother Garrett, he eventually lands the night shift at Freddy's while his weird aunt tries to take custody over his sister Abby, his weird aunt sends some other weirdos to try and get Mike fired and they're killed by the animatronics of Freddy's, and Mike learns his sister can talk to the ghosts of the animatronics, as the nights progress Mike learns of the true horrors of Freddy's and its connection to his brother. Now, you might be expecting me to say, ERM, that's not the plot to FNAF1. But here's something you have to know first, the plot is stupid, the plot is complicated, and I for one, am so glad they didn't try to cover the entire story and now have their own story that I think, works super super well, another thing that works amazingly are the puppets, and yes, I said puppets. The animatronics are not robots they're puppets created by the Jim Henson company, you know the Sesame Street guys. Together they work perfectly and create an incredible effect. The actors are all pretty good choices, and all for the most part were pretty solid. Anyway, let's talk about the elephant in the room, I know the movie's been getting a lot of negative reviews and a bunch of flack for not showing the animatronics doing enough of the stuff they do in the game, but here's the thing, the movie wasn't made for people who only know surface level details of what the game is, the movie was made for fans, people who know what's going on, who know the plot, who've seen the theories, that's why when I heard the crowd cheer when William Afton said I always come back. I knew that these were the people this movie was made for. People who've been with the series, people who've speculated, who discussed, people who theorized, aka the people who will get the most enjoyment out of this are Five Nights at Freddy's fans, not casual FNAF gamers, it's the same thing with the Mario movie, it wasn't made for people who just know surface level details, it's for people who've been in the know you know. And if you're not, well then sucks to be you, because when you've literally grown up with these games like Mario or FNAF, and you watch these movies, you know that they know that you know that you're going to like this. So yeah, if you go into this movie having only played the first game and not really knowing what happens next or why everything is happening, you might have a good time watching, I don't know. I asked my parents who have little to no knowledge of this franchise and they seem to like it fine, so I guess it really depends on what kind of person you are, if you're a FNAF fan in the know, check this out, it's absolutely worth your time, and for you casuals, check it out too, just to see if you like it, and if you don't, I don't know, go watch another scary movie. For my first impressions review I'm gonna rate this movie at a 8 out of 10. Could it have taken more from the gameplay and less from the lore? I mean I guess they could, but if you're in the know you know that the lore is just as much of a part of the game as the gameplay. Alright that's all for me, happy Halloween guys. Blah blah blah, now that might sound bad I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night. <laughs> a bit quirky. <laughs>